This is day one of coding a Pomodoro timer app with my own twist. So I started out here with my own sketch of the design because what is Figma, am I right? <laughs> Shut up. So next I just started to make my repository because it's smart to make a repo for version control or whatever. This is so that you guys can see the actual code and if ever you wanted to contribute it to it as well, you could. Anyways, after that, I started to open up VS Code and started coding. I'm just kidding. I didn't start coding after like 20 minutes because I struggled. It's actually my first time coding with Svelte and I'm very new to it. So I had to install it and set it up, which should have taken five minutes, but it took 20 anyway, because you know I'm kind of a noob at this. So, you know, just let me have this one, guys. <laughs> Once I finally got it set up, I could actually start coding my Pomodoro timer. If you live under a rock and don't know what a Pomodoro timer is, it's essentially a productivity hack in which you have a timer in which you do work for a certain amount of time. And right after that, you have a short break for let's say five minutes. Then after that break, you do another timer and then you continue working and you repeat the cycle over and over again. Conventionally, it's 25 minutes of work that followed by five minutes of break. So it's 25 and five, then 25 and five. And essentially you repeat it over and over again until you finish all the tasks you need to do for the day. It's actually very productive, which is why I'm making my own version with my own twist. And if you're wondering what that twist is, is that is this version rewards you during the five minute break. So once you finish a work session, you get a reward. In my version, the reward is short form content like reels or from YouTube shorts. So that is why it's going to be called Brain Rot Pomodoro. Amazing name, right? It's supposed to be helping you be productive, but then it's actually brain rotting you. So my objective for today was just to make the bare minimum of this whole project. So the divs and the display of the timer and the timer functionality. So I actually did get the timer to work and I definitely didn't use it's 2025 guys, come on. Yeah, it's definitely taking over and we're all cooked. So that's all I did for today. If you guys have any suggestions for future projects or features, please comment down below and follow for part two.